What's going on everybody? I'm going to give you a quick review of the Li Time 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, they sent this to me a couple of weeks ago. I first used it in my smaller boat to run the trolling motor and most recently used it in this boat to run the electronics. I've got three graphs, a live scope, a GoPro, um, and it'll run all of my stuff for about 11 hours, which is plenty. As you can see, it's extremely light. This is the same energy that you can get out of a full 50 pound lead acid battery, but obviously it's about 12 pounds. So it's extremely light when it comes to uh, saving weight out of your boat. It's rated at a 1C discharge rate, which means one capacity of the battery. So you can pull 50 amps out of this continuously, and that's what the battery management system will let you do. Obviously one of the big benefits to a lithium iron phosphate battery is not only the weight reduction, but the cycle life. So a typical lead acid battery, you can discharge and recharge about 250, maybe up to 500 times, depending on the conditions, the weather, how cold it is, if you completely drain it one day. Uh, this battery will do thousands of cycles. So what they have rated on their site is 6,000 cycles at 80% depth of discharge. So if you take this battery down 80% and recharge it, they're saying 6,000 times. So that's a crazy number. So speaking of capacities, I did do a capacity test on this, fully discharged it, fully charged it, and then ran the test on it and got just under 51 amp hours out of it. So I'm getting 100% really of the battery usable capacity out of this battery which is awesome as far as charging this goes you can charge it at 1c or 50 amps but that's cranking a lot of current through this thing what is recommended is a 0.2c charge rate so that works out to be 10 amps and i do have the li time 10 amp charger this is this version here this is a 10 amp li time charger this one comes with alligator clips i believe they have another one that comes with like a quick connect uh, if you wanted to go that route, that works great, especially if you are, if you have a, maybe a smaller boat where you take the battery out every time, you can hook that charger right up to it in your garage, wherever you store the battery and charge it that way. Uh, it will also charge off of any lithium profile, you know, like onboard battery charger that you may find. As long as it says lithium, lithium iron phosphate, uh, you know, it's a 12.8 volt ba battery, will work just fine. So something to note uh, when it comes to charging that you absolutely must know. This battery does not have low temperature charging cutoff. That means if you plug it in and the battery's frozen, it will let you try to charge it. Now that's not a common feature necessarily within the 50 amp hour battery. Usually when you get up to about 100 amp hours, you start really seeing that a lot more prevalent. Uh, but you need to know that, that if you plug this charge, if you charge this battery when it's frozen, you can damage it. It's called lithium plating. That's not good. The terminals on this guy are M8 fasteners. So any type of like a 5 16th ring terminal will work for that and it does have the battery management system does have all your traditional protections on it short short circuiting too high a voltage too low a voltage it will cut itself out and save itself so you get all the features there really the only one that's not included which is to no surprise in the size is the low temperature charging cutoff so dimensions wise you can see it's pretty compact it's 7.8 by six and a half by 6.7 inches so it's quite a bit smaller footprint than a traditional lead acid battery, which is nice because I have it snuggled in between my 36 volt battery and my fuel tank in the back of my boat. There's not a ton of room in these trackers and this squeezes in there just fine. I 3D printed a uh, battery tray for it and that's working out fantastic back there. Uh, it does have a five year warranty on it, uh, which you can go through LI time on that. And I'm sure they'll take care of any issues you may have. I will put links in the descriptions for the charger and the battery, uh, maybe 100 amp hour as well, in case you need something bigger. Uh, but if you're trying to figure out like what size battery do you need, I've got this video that's gonna pop up right here that will help walk you through that, selecting a chemistry and a size. And there's a spreadsheet there that will help you figure out exactly what you need to get set up. Appreciate you coming along. We'll see you next time.